You are watching a master at work. Hi guys, welcome to the Lupe Experience. Today, I have a treat for you guys. I will be doing a short series of reviews on my favorite fragrances, my four favorite fragrances from the luxury niche perfume house of Amouage. Here for review, I have a decant of one of my top four Amouage fragrances. This one is called Journey Man. Journeyman was launched in 2014. As usual, there is a parom and there is a parfum. This is a parfum. It is categorized as a woody, spicy fragrance. What does Amouage Journeyman smell like? Oh. Journeyman is beautiful. I have a decant here, and I suspect that after I go through this, I will probably be getting a full bottle, or at least another decant. It is a spicy, peppered fragrance. The most prominent note is the Sichuan or Chinese pepper. However, while pepper tends to be dry and bitter, the notes that complement it add other facets to give it more complexity. You're going to get tobacco, which gives, you know, a sweet, honeyed, dusty facet to it. You're going to get a bit of bergamot to freshen it up. You are going to get a lot of tonka bean. Tonka bean gives a nutty creaminess to any fragrance and it really plays well with the pepper to make it feel like a creamy, sweet, peppery smell. Amouage Journeyman has a texture that is quite dry and creamy. It is neither too heady and heavy nor too light and effervescent. However, it leans more towards the effervescent side as the incense notes in the base give it a little bit of lift and airiness. In terms of smell for Amouage Journeyman, I would not give it the highest marks in the world. For one, this is not a scent that is for everyone. However, it's a scent that is pleasant, it is sweet, it is very, very unique. It is very masculine as these spicy, peppery, woody incense notes really portray a woodier, more masculine side of fragrances. It's a fragrance that would work very well when dressed sharply with a suit and a tie. It's a very woody, dry, spicy fragrance. The first time I had my girlfriend smell this fragrance up cold, she hated it because she's not a fan of incense notes, especially anything that's quite ambery. And this, this composition does lean a little bit towards, you know, that sweet, you know, spicy, ambery, like dry incense uh, smell. However, I wore it because I love it. And she complimented me several times on it until I told her, you know, that's the one you said you didn't like. So it's a fragrance that when it diffuses in the air is quite pleasant. It does not project. This is a fragrance that stays closer to the skin. So it's one definitely for a refined, reserved gentleman. This is definitely one that I love wearing when I'm wearing a suit and tie, when I'm at work, when I'm dressed quite officially, and I really want to exude class and sophistication and refinement. It is one that I go for. It's not very occasion versatile. I would only use it for serious occasions. So if I'm going to church or some sort of religious function, 
Sadly, if I'm going to a funeral, this is a scent that I would probably reach for. If I'm going on a business trip and business meeting, this is a scent that would play very well for those sorts of occasions. Anything in which you wear a suit and tie, this would work perfectly for. In terms of weather versatility, this is a fragrance that would work year round. It's not a fragrance that's bombastic and loud in its projection. So it doesn't matter whether it's a summertime or it's a winter time, it would work well for what it is made for. In terms of gender versatility, this is a masculine fragrance. This is about as masculine as it can get with this dry pepper, dry incense, tobacco, and the creaminess from the tonka bean. In terms of being unique, this is a very unique composition and a very unique smell. This is not the sort of composition that is widely marketed in the fragrance industry. So you will smell unique wearing this and you will get some attention just for that reason alone. However, this does remind me of a fragrance. However, I feel this is more refined. This is better done and just the composition, especially the accentuation of the incense dry notes and the amplification of the pepper works better in this fragrance. It smells in the same vein as Sergio's Ivory Route. If you know that fragrance, this is something similar to it. Also, if you're a fan of fragrances such as Marc Jacobs Bang or Bulgari Black, it's in the same vein. It does not smell like those ones, but it does smell like Sergio's Ivory Route. But this is just more sophisticated, more refined, calmer, and smoother, in my opinion. Amouage is a fragrance house that does fragrances to a very high level. They're very well known for very loud, very exuberant and opulent compositions. However, they decide to take a different route and make something more refined, something that has a little bit more of that reserved class and sophistication when they made Amouage Journeyman. And for that reason, it feels a perfect role in my collection as one of those go-to fragrances that I spray on when I'm wearing a suit and a tie. It comes off as peppered, woody, masculine, reserved, sophisticated. It's a fragrance that I recommend to anyone looking for something that they can wear in which people will take them very seriously, but yet they will smell refined, they will smell unique, and they will smell sophisticated.